Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Aptive webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to assign Azure AD role at administrative unit in Azure Active Directory. In Azure Active Directory, you typically assign Azure AD roles so that they apply to the entire tenant. However, you can also assign Azure AD roles for different resources such as administrative units or application registrations. For example, you could assign the help desk administrator role so that it just applies to a particular administrative unit and not the entire tenant. The resources that a role assignment applies to is called the scope. So let's see the steps on how to assign roles at an administrative unit scope in Azure Active Directory. For that, we need to access and log into the Azure Active Directory portal. You can access Azure Active Directory portal using the URL azureps colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On Azure AD portal, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform the steps. Under manage, click on administrative units. First, let me explain the scenario which we are going to use in this video. We have one administrative unit named India. Under India administrative unit, we have two users named test user 2 and test user 3. Let me show you that. Click on India Administrative Unit. We can confirm that Test User 2 and Test User 3 are in India Administrative Unit. Click on Users. We have two more users named Test User 1 and Test User 4. We want to assign User Administrator role to Test User 1 but only for India Administrative Unit, not on Android Tenant. So, test user 1 can manage all aspects of users and groups including resetting passwords and modifying user profile information for the users which are stored in India Administrative Unit. To do so, click on Azure Active Directory. Under Manage, click on Administrative Units. Select an administrative unit. In our case, it will be India. Under Manage, click on Rules and Administrators. Here you can see the list of all rules available to be assigned over an administrative unit. We will not see the entire list of Azure Active Directory built-in or custom rules here. And this is expected. We can only see those rules which have permissions related to the object that are supported within the administrative unit. We will select user administrator role. User administrator can manage all aspects of users and groups which are stored in this administrative unit only. Click on user administrator role. Click on add assignments. You can see resource I'm a subtie webcast resource type directory but under selected role, we can verify user administrator is selected and under scope type, we can confirm that this is only for administrative unit and the selected scope is India administrative unit. Click on no member selected link to select the user or group you want to assign this role to. From the list, we will select a test user 1. So let me search for test user 1. Click on it and click on select. Under selected members, verify test user 1 is selected. Click next to continue. Here we have two options, eligible and active. Eligible assignments require the member of the role to perform an action to use the role. Actions might include performing a multi-factor authentication check providing a business justification or requesting approval from designated approvers. 
that means if user has eligible assignments that time that rule is not currently active whenever user need that rule he or she has to request for that rule and after approval they can use that rule to perform actions on other end active assignments don't require the member to perform any action to use the rule members assigned as active have the privileges assigned to the rule at all the times so simply we can say in eligible assignment type it is one kind of passive role assignment that means whenever user need that rule he has to request it in active assignment type the permission is already assigned to the user so whenever user want to perform the action he or she doesn't have to request for it so to keep things simple we will go with active assignments you can also specify a specific assignment duration for that change the start and end dates and times as per your requirement but here we'll go with permanently assigned then after you need to enter the justification for active assignments i'm going to type just for testing purpose you can enter the justification of your choice here now click on assign to assign user administrator as a ready role to test user one on india administrative unit let me click on assign wait for the confirmation message uh, we can see the message member test user one successfully assign uh, let me show the message again member test user one successfully assigned to role user administrator in india administrative unit and on active assignments we can also see user administrator test user one this is users upn or we can see a principal name scope is there and which is you can see india and this is the name of our administrative unit state is currently assigned uh, this is the start time and this is the end time if you want to remove this assignments that time you simply need to click on remove it okay uh, we can also check the role assignments and scope information from the users profile page uh, let me click on users uh, let's click on test user 1 click on assign roles and here we can see the user administrator role is assigned to test user 1 but only for india administrative unit scope user administrator scope is india administrative unit and state is active so this is how we can assign azure active directory role to user at administrative unit level but we also want to test the settings as per our settings test user 1 can change test user 2 and test user 3's profile information and he can also reset the password but he cannot do the same for test user 4 because he is not stored in india administrative unit so let's test this open new in private window access azure active directory portal using the url https://aad.portal.azure.com we will sign in using test user one's credential enter the test user one's username which is user one at msaptivwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com click next enter the user password and click on sign in Okay we have access Azure Active Directory admin center using the credential of test user 1 Now click on users try to modify test user 2's profile information Let me click on test user 2 And if you see edit option at top bar that means you can edit user's profile information Let me click on edit and here we can see users profile information for example i am giving job title tester let me click on save and we get the confirmation message successfully updated test user 2's profile 
uh, let me close it and uh, let me close this page as well so a user ts user 1 can successfully modify the profile information of a user ts user 2 let me close the page now check the same for ts user 4 so let me click on ts user 4 and here we can see edit option is not available because the user is not stored in India administrative unit and that's why TS user 1 does not have any permissions on TS user 4. Still, let's try to reset the user password. Click on reset password. And here we can see message. The password cannot be reset for this user. This may be due to an incorrect level of administrative privilege or if trying to reset your own password. Since TS user 4 is not stored in India administrative unit, TS user 1 does not have any rights on that user account. And that's why TS user 1 is not able to reset TS user 4's user password or he is not able to add it TS user 4's profile information. That means we have successfully assigned Azure Active Directory role at administrative unit level. That concludes the video on how to assign Azure AD roles at administrative unit in Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory portal. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.